welcome back to this week's episode of Live from Studio B. I'm one of your hosts, Liz Crandall. And I'm your other host, Joe Loria. We decided to get into the spooky mood with some awesome Ghostbusters costumes. I'm Professor Venkman. And I'm Spangler. Why do I have to be Spangler? Because you wear glasses and you suck. And I'm, <laughs> and I'm literally Bill Murray. Shut up, Liz. Well, anyways, is there something strange in your neighborhood? Let's find out in the news. A reckless driving suspect allegedly bit a police officer's finger. Evidence points to the man in question being named Charlie, a repeat <laughs> offender. That thing must have tasted really good. A Missouri teacher has been put on leave after her page on a porn site was discovered by school officials. That's horrible. Where was it? Where? Where was it? <laughs> a rat climbs out of the hood of a Brooklyn man's car three hours into a road trip. Damn. They call me a rat because I got out the hood and I'm still chasing that cheese. <laughs> How much do you pay for tuition again? $75,000. <laughs> Researchers have unveiled an atlas that gives an unprecedented look at the intricacies of the human brain. Hopefully they can find the same intricacies that caused me to post my ex's address on Reddit last weekend. You should do what I do when I get broken up with. Drink. <laughs> Speaking of, Thousands of dollars were raised for a bus driver who was fired after she mistakenly drank alcohol on the job. Just like I mistakenly hotboxed the Shine Wellness Room every day. Same. <laughs> Amish men were shunned after nationwide emergency alerts outed them for having phones. When asked to comment, one of the Amish people said, Oh, how did this get here? A man was hit with a $1.4 million speeding ticket in Georgia. Um, why do they hit him with a piece of paper? You don't deserve this. A Minneapolis police officer was outed as, as an OnlyFans model after pulling over one of her subscribers. He claimed to have three kilos of coke on him, but it was just clear he wanted him to handcuff her. The man's name was Joe Loria. Boston makes me feel good. <laughs> Researchers say climate change could make beer taste worse. IPAs have been doing that for years. Wrong. <laughs> An elementary school teacher showed Winnie the Pooh on a murderous rampage during classroom movie night. The movie was shown after Love, Simon was prohibited by the PTA. A black bear walked into a convenience store and all he took was a pack of gummy bears. Wow, I bet if he was a polar bear, this wouldn't even be in the news. <laughs> The suspects in an armed robbery returned to the scene of the crime to say they were just kidding. Hilarious, said the dead cashier. <laughs> a landscaping crew mowed around a dead body, assuming it was a Halloween prop. On the bright side, it made for some great fertilizer. A cat was accused of wiping U.S. Veteran Affairs servers info after jumping on a keyboard in Kansas City. It turns out the exact password was GHQQQQ. <laughs>